Hey guys, it is now 6.30 p.m. 26 January 2013 and we're going to continue with the book of Genesis. We are now on chapter 33, New International Version, 1984. Jacob meets Isa and we're in the year is 1906 before Christ. Jacob looked up, and there was Esau, coming with 400 men. So he divided the children among Lee, Rachel, and the two maidservants. He put the maidservants and their children in front, Lee and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. Can you take this out with you? Hang on, guys. I'll be right back with you. Give me a second. Sorry, we had a fall. Nothing major. Alright, sorry. And Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He himself went on ahead and bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? he asked. Hi. I need a ticket. He's the last one, right? No, there's more in that box, but tell her to tap that down. Jacob. Okay, um, verse 5. Sorry about that, guys. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? he asked. Jacob answered, These are the children God was has graciously given your servant. Then the maidservants and their children approached and bowed down. Next, Leah and her children came and bowed down. Last of all came Joseph and Rachel, and they too bowed down. Isa asked, What do you mean by all these droves I met? To find favor in your eyes, my lord, he said. But Isa said, I already have plenty, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. No, please, said Jacob. I have found favor in your eyes. Accept this gift from me, for to see your face is like seeing the face of God, now that you have received me favorably. Please accept the presence that was brought to you, for God has been gracious to me, and I have all I need. And because Jacob insisted, Esau accepted it. Then Esau said, Let us be on our way. I'll accompany you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are tender, and that I must care for the ewes and cows that are nursing their young. If they are driven hard just one day, all the animals will die. So let my Lord go on ahead of his servants while I move along slowly at the pace of the droves before me, and that of the children, until I come to my Lord in Seir. Esau said, Then let me leave some of my men with you. But why do that, Jacob asked? Just let me find favor in the eyes of my Lord. So that day, Esau started on his way back to Seir. Jacob, however, went to Succoth, where he built a place for himself and made shelters for his livestock. That is why the place is called Succoth. After Jacob came from Paddan, Paddan Aram, he arrived safely at the city of Succoth in Canaan and camped within sight of the city. For a hundred pieces of silver he bought from the sons of Haman, the father of Sechem, the plot of ground where he pitched his tent. There he set up an altar and called it El, El Eloha, Israel. And that is the end of Genesis 33. And I shall be back in a couple minutes. Enjoy the rest of your Sabbath for those who are still having Sabbath. I shall return. God bless. Peace. Love you guys. Jesus is coming. Repent. Repent, repent, repent. I can't say it enough. There is no once saved, always saved, guys. Come on. I'm doing the Lord's work with all I've seen in that. I may not have the money to pay my tithes and offering, offerings, but my church that I used to go to does not believe in the Sabbath, 
so I stopped going. So now we do home church. My husband agrees never to work on the Sabbath again. We don't work on the Sabbath. Our Sabbath was over at five. The sunset was at five thirty-two, and our Sabbath is ended. So now I continue to work. This is my work. This is what I give to the Lord because I do cannot pay tithes and offerings. For one, we can barely pay our bills here. Again, we are. We haven't paid on January's rent. Um, we are late on a loan payment that we had taken out a year ago so that we could give our kids Christmas. And then we redid the loan so that we could pay bills in that. So this is my tithes and offerings to the Lord by trying to save as many souls as I can. My brothers and sisters, if you need saving, you need prayers, you want prayer, anything, leave me a comment, give me a personal message, I'd be more than happy to assist you without charge. I do not charge for my lessons, and never will I this is my offering to you and it's free take my everybody has permissions to download my videos all of them reproduce them add to them don't acknowledge me acknowledge God I speak what God tells me to speak God bless you all I will pray for anybody who wants me to pray. I pray for all of my YouTubers. I may not know your names, but I always pray for all my YouTube followers. May God bless you all. I love you. Peace. Ow, tigress. Sorry, guys. My cat just tried to need me, and then she pulled down my leg. Ow, 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 ow. Or, even if you have a sick animal, I'll pray for your animal, too. Maybe that's why I got caught. I will pray for your animal. Because I know people do not believe animals have souls. Yes, they do. I believe they do. They know when you're sick. They feel it. They comfort you when you're not feeling good. If they didn't have souls, they wouldn't. All right, guys. I love you. Peace. I will be back in a couple minutes, and we will continue with Genesis 34. All right. Love you. Be safe. Be ever watchful. God is going to return, and soon.